Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Denalka on Farming Simulator 22. This is a map by Strats 6. It's 167.69 megabytes to download for PC and Mac players only. What is up with all the PC and Mac only maps out recently? I mean, good gravy. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm just going to start off by reading what it says in the mod up. It says, welcome to Denalka, a 4x4 kilometer map with plenty of farm lambs and fields. That explains why it's PC only. They're big maps. Uh, a total of 100 toys hidden across the map, ready to be collected. 101 fields waiting for you to work on them. Added extra train angles. It is possible to use ponds and rivers to refill water. Fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and hop into it here. Uh, one second. Let's go ahead and... <clears throat> there we go. Clear my throat there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Gosh, I can't talk anymore. Um, I've been a little sick under the weather. Switching schedules and everything has kind of beat me up a little bit, but we're making it. Okay, so here's the map. New farm mode, you only own field 35 right there. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff spread out over this map, so we're probably just gonna do the classic flyover only method for this map, so we'll probably end up doing that for this one. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and we'll take a look around here in a second. I will scroll through all of these so you guys can see where things are sold at or what places will take things. If you wanted to take a look at where a specific item was taken, or one, what areas will buy them from you, I guess is a more accurate way to put that. Uh, feel free to pause the video during this so you can take a look at that. But otherwise, I'm just going to scroll through them and then we will continue on, probably take a look around the farmyard and then uh, we'll do a quick flyover and call it good. But yeah, uh, we just want to give you kind of, an, kind of an overview of the map itself. So there we go. Take a look at that stuff. Um, and then from there, you have a few pieces of starting equipment here. Start with $100,000 in new farmer mode. No animal pens. Uh, there's contracts in the fields you don't own. No production chains. There are, again, those 100 collectibles that can be found. But, yeah, that's everything there. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the store and see what we start off with. We have a John Deere 4755. We also have a top liner harvester with a header for it. Then we have a Welger DK115 trailer. Small cultivator, small cedar, and just a weight. So very uh, lean starting equipment. You don't have a lot that you're going to start with on this map. Uh, but if we take a look around here, this is again just a starting farm. Very basic. You got your sleep trigger up here. Not a ton of stuff going on. You can change in here if you like. Boy, this looks... What in the world? That probably needs to be fixed up a little bit. There's some floating stuff there. Uh, over here, this looks like... Is it just a decorative building? Yeah, this looks like... Can you get rid of this? Okay, good. Yeah, you can get rid of the decoration, it looks like. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the starting farm. We got the last building over here. I guess we got a silo over there. Uh, just kind of your starting... Or one of your starting buildings from Elm Creek there. And all of our equipment's parked out back. And then we have a silo. So, very basic setup there for us. Um, let's hop into fly, flight mode here. Um, and take a look around. So again, the map is absolutely enormous. It is massive as can be. Uh, if we go back up here to the top. Yeah, it is a massive map. So we'll probably cut over this way um, and then just kind of work our way around the map um, in that sort of way. So yeah, you can see we're gonna come out here to this corner. Lots of big fields. Not really a whole lot to honestly, I don't want to like skimp on things, but at the same time, it's like there's not a lot to necessarily show off. Um, and again, these map tours just give you kind of a quick overview of the map, which I think we can do pretty effectively from the sky. Uh, down here, we have, we see we started over here, flew over here, flew across here. Down here, we have the cereal factory. So cereal factory down there. As we head up this little road right here, um, you can see we're coming up on the red marble, which we can tag it. The red marble bowling alley, which is it's an interesting place for a bowling alley there. Is that what that is? Yeah, bowling restaurant, interesting place. Um, then if we go just cut down over here, we have another production facility. Oh, jeez, I hate it when it does that. Uh, we have the oil mill, and then up above us, we have the lime station right up over here. So you can see the lime station uh, right down there. So there's your lime station. Now, what we'll probably do is continue to work our way around. Uh, feed and grain south, let's tag that. We'll go take a look at that. So yeah, we'll keep on working our way around the outside. So feed and grain south, right here, that should untag it. Yep, there we go. Now, as we head up this side, you can see the kind of the road go off, goes off to the side. Now, we'll say, from being on the map, the edge doesn't look great. It kind of, it looks, it looks really abrupt. It doesn't look like it blends very well as some other maps do. So it's not as well blended, I think, as I would like. Um, what, what do we got up over here? We got, looks like some town buildings and stuff through here. This stuff looks decent. 
It looks fairly plain. Maybe it's just because I did uh, the Waldstetten map or whatever that one was just before this, which has an enormous amount of detail. Oh, this looks nice over here. I like this. This looks a lot cleaner up over there. But we do have some stuff going on here. So let's take a look at some of that. We zoom in here. Down, down the way, we had a cheese dairy. If we tag that right over here, cheese dairies we were coming up this way. Uh, so we had a cheese dairy as we came up. Then we have the fast food restaurant, the grocery mart, and a dairy here. So fast food, grocery mart, and then there's the other dairy right there. And as we continue across, getting up into this area, we can untag that. We have a grain mill just ahead, right here, grain mill. And then as we turn left, we have a debris crusher, lime station, gas station, and the vehicle shop all in this little complex right here. So a lot of stuff going on there. And then just to the left of us, I mean, which we'll start cutting up this way, just to the left as we head over here to this area, we have ourselves a South Valley Biomass Energy, the sawmill. Um, that's what we got going on down here. So that's nice there. Now over here, yeah, just so where's our starting farm in relation to us is uh, just down over here. So as we cut across, what we'll probably actually do, yeah, we'll come around and then we'll come in. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll come across here. We'll take a look at some of this stuff uh, towards, or maybe we just shoot down and then kind of work our way up. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. So if we shoot down here, right here, this guy right here, we have uh, the cheese, another cheese dairy facility right there. I would like to see a little bit more detail around the buildings. They kind of just look kind of plopped down. I think that'd be kind of nice to have that. Um, as we head up this way, we have this guy right here, which is going to be, it looks like a great processing plant. Yep, great processing unit right there. And then as we continue up this road, we have this right here, which is the Johnson's Farmer Market sell point. Now, from there, if we go straight up is what we need to do. We have, oh, right over here. Here it is before I pass it. We have another production point. We have a carpentry point here. Then just over here, we have a couple more production points. Oh, no, I'm a little off. Over here, we have a couple more production points. There we go. We've got the uh, spinnery and the other spinner. So two spinneries here. Interesting. But you can see kind of where from where we came from, coming up around over this way. Now working our way this way across the map. Uh, some nice detail to it. I think there's just some things that just need to be cleaned up a little bit. I think it'd be pretty squared away, but otherwise not a bad little map. Well, I say little, big map, not a bad big map. Where are we at right now? Yeah, coming over here. So we'll, we'll kind of shoot our way down along here um, and take a look at a couple of these things. So we got, again, we have the li another lime station just right over there. And then past that lime station, we have a bakery just over yonder. So again, lime station right here. And then as we head this way, we have a bakery right over here. You can see bakery just under us there. Then if we cut in towards the farm, we have another lime station, which is craziness. So if we go into here, a nice starting farm area is going to be right here for a starting farm. Uh, we have another lime station right down there. And then as we continue in, we have this last little chunk of land here to take a look at, which is going to be our animal dealer. Two, two more. Oh, the animal dealer cell point as well there, and then the li another lime station. So there's all sorts of places to get lime. That's for sure on this map. We can probably untag that guy right there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the map. There's not a ton to show off on it. Um, there's a lot of space for you. There's several little farmhouses and stuff that you could choose from um, on the map there for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.